Hello everybody, Digitiger here and welcome to Rogue Legacy where the aim of the game is to keep dying and I'm quite serious with that look at the little person trading dummy weak okay that one hurt do you even lift? it hurts so much try again it hurts it hurts so much I give up. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. You're gonna be nice. There into the castle we go. Building. This is loading, not, not loading. Not quite literally. The aim of the game. The aim of this game. Die. And I can't believe I actually forgot this. Entry number one. My head's in the way. Treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampton. Slap the like burning my leg. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time. Immemorial. Immemorial? I don't know. But rumours say that within it dwells an item which can cure any element. It's clearly a remedy from Van Fancy, but oh well. Tonight I will get the head start of my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they sleep. To fail this quest will be an embarrassment to my name. Clearly the past prince is an arse. Hello, you! It's a frost turn. But yes, the end of this game is to essentially die. Ow. And there's killer paintings. And I'm quite literal when I say die. Since you will do a lot of that in this game in the lower level bits. Stop it. Stop it. I mean I have to be honest, I have actually finished this game twice. I know what to do in painting, I know what to expect, but, well, I say I know what to expect, it's all randomly generated, so, no, no Mr. Rival, we shall not do that. You basically, you're trying to f open that main gold door at the beginning, but to do that, you need to find four bosses, which are whipping, surprise, surprise, the four areas. Ooh. Nice. General entry number two. Although I am the eldest child, uh, I have not my. I am not my father's favorite. I always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But as I find the cure. If I find a cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, whatever that says, my wife and my children shall move back to, to the royal quarters. Back to the royal city where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow, shall bow, 
shall bow, sorry, shall bow as we pass. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the, the, uh, conquer the castle, find the cure, and collect my reward. Dude, you sound like a right asshole. Boop. Yeah, boop. Boop, boop. Are you a spooky, scary skeleton? Chow, 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 chow. Kill a painting, kill a painting, kill a painting, kill a painting! Spooky, scary skeleton. Ow! Naughty. What's in here? Money. Money. We love our money. Money. You just you need you can't get enough of money on this. Money is quite literally everything on this game. And dying of course. Boop, boop you, boop you, boop you, ow, you do things. Just like you I Each of course, each time the castle is randomly generated, so Really, you can't predict what where things are. Well, other than where the areas are, you can't predict where everything goes. All you know is that you will die at some point. Kill a painting. 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 Go away. Kill a painting. Give me my money. I think I don't think I've ever noticed anyone actually do the game. Oh, this is good. When you get to rooms like this that have a teleporter in, you know it's about to happen. Because down here is the land of darkness, which you do not want to go down at this late, this early in the game. You want to avoid that one, like the plague. Like the plague. All enemies. Yes, this type of floor actually does hurt you. And there's a different type of eye in here. Like so. Ow. Right, he has to go. He technically didn't shouldn't have shown up just yet. Fairy chests are your friends in this game. The fairies are your friends, essentially. Everything else can just go die. Take objective complete. Thank you. Because the fairy chests give you runes. Which you can use to power yourself up later. No, no. I'm actually surviving long more than I usually am. Ow. What the off? Ow. Just jump like a fairy. Money! Listen, money is wonderful in this. Until later on where things start getting a little bit costly. We have 16 life left. Smash it. That's quite literally what I'm doing inside this game. Smashing! Right, this shall lead upwards if we're lucky, which leads us to the Maya. Which as you can see from here, 
you, yet again, you do not want to go here. Just checking the map. Uh, it's supposed to be easier for me to just walk back. Oops. Just walking back. Well, essentially, really, you want to clear the castle first, then actually go to other places. Why? Why, 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 why? Why? Oh, don't jump, please don't jump, Mr. Wolf. Yeah, so this certain spots where he'll shove you straight into another part of the castle. Even though you do not want to be there yet. I knew I was gonna I knew I was gonna get hit by something. I thought you just wanna slice every single thing you can. Quite simply, smashing. You think one thousand three hundred and twenty gold's a lot in this? It's nothing. Oh, well. of course, uh. and that's my point. Where there is certain spots where it will just shove you up somewhere else. I mean, some some spots are nice, but some aren't. For example, rooms like this. Did you know for all blown facts? Mini bosses. Still leave them slain by Alpha. If you're in trouble with a boss, try using different runes. At least it shows you how what you've killed on your route. And again, you then choose a barbarian with e. You may remember things with extreme clarity, which is good. You can conduct electricity well. Not entirely sure how good that is. Okay, we've got all barbarians. That's quite good. I think we shall go for this one. See, as you die, you then can choose a new heir, and then you come to this screen. Which, well, essentially, you have to buy him first, so. The blacksmith can build, basically, the blacksmith will make your swords and armor. As you buy these bits. Get the path, upgrade your MP, upgrade your HP. And as you buy more things, for example, give me a path and a balcony. Upgrade the knight, upgrade the knights into paladins. Get something else to show up. And then equip equipment up is very useful. It increases the amount of weight you can carry. The higher the more stronger the weapon armor is. The heavy it is, and if you can't got that, and that, if you can't carry it, you can't have it. Rise. Architect, he's useful, so, and let's do a frozen. Rise. Let it go. Architect, I'll explain him when we talk to him in a minute. Barbarian to a barbarian king, very handy, actually. Buy that. And the barbarian kings. They learn the shouts, which is Pharaoh Dust. Now, Skyrim players will know what that actually really says. Shinobi is very handy. Bad up. Get a little bit. Very handy, Shinobis are. They're fast and they do a lot of damage. They are kind of weakish. Now, haggle here. I'll explain that in a minute. Critical chance of that is just more chance of getting a critical hit. We can't afford anything else, so you come out. Let's see, and now he shows up. Welcome, hero. I'm trying to do a voice of a barbarian, but I've no barbarian or a blacksmith. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith. 
Where's the blacksmith? Now Wondermark can't find him, I've got him. In all the lands. But one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints I can only make cutlery and stuff. Because we technically still need cutlery. Please bring back any blueprints you find. I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever. At a price, of course. Of course. This is when we get this, is when we get to this. You, well, yeah, essentially you need to find the blueprints. You can upgrade yourself so far, but half of them cost quite a bit. And the weight adds on. Second dude. Blind. Now blind. Oh, that actually hurt me. Greetings, boy. That one. Wanna know a cool fact? I'm crazy doing my mouth right now, might as well. I can't actually see if I do that. This lever, not lever, lever, here, with a simple pull that can prevent the castle from changing. This way you can go through the exactly what your ancestors went through. Impressed! You should be. How did I build this fantastic contraption? With science, of course, and magic. But mostly magic. Maybe it was the magic of friendship. Friendship's not magic. You can't turn people into toads of friendship. But my skills aren't free. If I lock this castle, it I will take 40% of your all, your, the gold you earn. Which is actually a lot when you realise. Do you want to lock a castle and only get 6% gold? No! And now comes this next person. He is an arsehole. Sharon. One must pay the toll. You've shown all your money into the castle. He even laughs and then fucks off. Basically, you get the money, you upgrade your stuff and buy armor. You go to him, you give him all your money. So if you go in, get a lot of gold, or don't have oh, sorry, don't have enough gold to upgrade, you can't actually buy anything. So you lose all your gold and have to start it all over again. Well, you have to basically collect it all over again. There's someone floating in the background. Thank you, timely Thunderstrike. Right, going to leave this here. Leave a like or comment down below. And subscribe if you want to see more from me from this little fuzzy ball. And rage more on this with luck. Click one of the annotations if you want to see more from me. And like I always say, take care for now.